Hello there, I am Dr. C.N. Okolubo. You're welcome to my YouTube channel where we'll be solving problems relating to business mathematics, business statistics, analysis for business decision, as well as other related topics. I want to encourage you as you go through these videos with me, you have your paper, your pen, and your calculator to solve these problems with me. Also, please do like, share, and subscribe so that you can receive notifications for upcoming videos that we'll be uploading. Thank you. Hello there, thank you very much for joining me once again on my channel. Thank you wherever you are. We are continuing our series on solving problems as regards in management, science, technique, or analysis of business decision called transportation model or transportation problem. In, earlier, in some earlier videos, we have looked at one method of solving transportation problem and that was using the northwest corner method. But today, we are going to start the first of a new series looking at solving transitional model using the least cost method. Some texts will have it as a least cost cell method, but I prefer to call it least cost method. In this method, we will identify the location with the least unit cost and apply the volume of commodities or supply into those will depend on the demand and supply and we look for the next list to that one look for the next one until all the demands and supplies from the factory to the centers or from the plant to the distribution points are exhausted please come along with me as we look at yet another very interesting aspects of the transportation model you're welcome what we have here, as you can see on the board, is the least cost method. In this method, we're already given uh, our, sub, our demand on the, the columns of the demand, and then we have the supply and the row section. And these values here are the unit costs for transporting from point A to 1, or point A to 2, or point A to three. I want you to go back to our earlier video on transition model Northwest corner method example one. The answer we're going to, we have there, we're going to compare with this one to know which one, which of these methods will give us a reduced cost of, um, of transport. So here we have this here, I think let me fill this up here. So this will be 1,500. So please look at the board. From this unit cost, which is the least cost here? Which is the least cost from this cost? All right, we have three. Three is the least cost. And since three is the least cost, we are going to portion the supply from A into center three. And so we are going to have 100 here, being the least cost and we will cross out our the hundred here and reduce this by hundred, so that it becomes three hundred. Now, which which cost is the next least cost on this? What I can see, I can see four here. So we have four here is the next least cost. What we will now do? We will take, we will fill up the demand from center three from. The supply of B so that 300 will come in here this will this will satisfy um, center 3 fully but then reduce the supply of B to 200 are you following that's what we'll do so the next thing is to look for the next list cost from here which is the next list cost the next list cost is Five. So we have five here. We'll come up here and then we'll look at five. What can we do with five? Can we get anything from five? No, we cannot because the supply from A has been fully exhausted. So 100 has been fully exhausted. So we can't do anything here. We'll look for the next. This has been fully exhausted. You see it here? 
and fully exhausted so we cannot use any of supplies from from a then we'll now look for the next list cost the next list cost as i can see is um seven as you can see seven is next crystal and what can we do from seven from seven to this cell here we look at the supply from c is 900 but the demand from center two is 800 so c can fully supply the demand of two so we now have 800 here this will cancel out this will cancel out to become zero and this will reduce to 100 all right so we see that the demand from two has been filled up the demand from three has been filled up we still have some supply of 200 from b and supply of 100 from from c so naturally these two will come in and of course the next the next list cost is eight eight on i mean eight so two eight will come here i mean 200 will come into this cell and cross out this to become zero and this will become 100 and then the last one being nine this cell we will now put 100 here and cross out this become zero and this one becomes zero so i've been able to fill up all the cells we need to fill five cells because there are five columns i mean there are three columns and three rows that's three plus three making six minus one gives us five so let's count one two three four and five so we'll satisfy that next thing now let's look at the cost the cost of transport okay the cost of transport transport costs or distribution costs as the case may be or shipping costs as you may see it in different text will be from as you can see from a to three we have hundred times three naira a to three we have hundred times three naira then we have b to one center one we're going to have 200 times eight then we have b to three b to three we're going to have 300 times four then we have c to one well that will be 100 times nine and last but not the least we have c to center two that will be 800 times seven okay so let's multiply these values and see what we can get this will be 300 100 times 3 is 300 200 times 8 is 1,600 300 times 4 plus 4 will give you 1,200 then 100 times 9 will give you 900 and 800 times 7 Give you five thousand six hundred. So if you sum this up, so can you sum this up really very quickly? If you sum this up, this will give you nine thousand six hundred. So I want to give you a little assignment. I want you to go back to the video on transform model northwest corner method and compare this answer with. The answer we got in that video the example one and tell me in the comment section which of these two methods would you apply if you were the manager of this company which of these two methods are you going to use the northwest corner method or you're going to use the least cost method to decide how you're going to transport your goods. I'm waiting for you at the comments. Tell me the one you're going to use based on the one, the, the cheaper transport costs you are going to incur. I'll wait for you in the comment section of this video. Thank you very much.